everybody, this is your girl Nikisha Banza. We're in the sunshine city of Portmore today to find out what are people actually doing to prepare themselves for this dengue outbreak. We're in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and we're hoping that people come up with some wonderful, wonderful answers to show us that we are ready and we're underground. We can walk and talk. Portmore with it. Right. So we're here with this lovely gentleman and we're going to talk to him about dengue. So tell me now, what have you experienced in terms of dengue? Well, flu symptom. I, I think I got it. You think you caught the dengue? Respian, or I, I should say, pain in your ankle and the wrist and neck. Well, in 1968, I had dengue, when they used to call it the Hong Kong flu, they even made song about it. Yeah, it's a very painful thing, you know. It's not like the one now that they say the hemorrhagic one that causes the bleeding and so. But you have a lot of pain. Um, you want to get up and you can't get up. You have a lot of pain behind your eyes and severe headache. What? Tell me about it. Skin, um, scratch and thing. So you, you found yourself scratching? A little fever and headache and so forth. Have you ever experienced dengue? No, but friends of mine, she had dengue before and recently someone that I know, her nephew had dengue also. Oh, first of all, she was very weak. She was ill, she was very cold also. So those were the symptoms. Right. Um, my daddy did have dengue and he had a high fever and vomiting. Go doctor anyway, I get some medication. I'm not sure it's dengue, but I take some treatment. So you did go to the doctor when you saw the symptoms. So tell me, what, what did you do when you saw that happening to you? I tried to get the Panada on Monday symptoms. In terms of your whole space, because you feel like I did the dengue, but you're not so sure. What have you been doing in terms of your whole space to ensure that the mosquitoes are not around? Uh, I'm getting rid of some of the things around the house, all tie up, anything like contain water. The, the, the little base, huh? Even in the kitchen, the drainer that you have, the mosquito love that water there. You know, sometimes when you lift it up, you see those little things that you say is ticky ticky. Uh huh. The mosquitoes. So you ensure that um, your pans, you bore them. You don't just throw them away. You bore them. That water doesn't settle in them. The tires, old tires and things. You get rid of them because the tires are hard to bore. Old fridges and all those things that, that catch the water. By any chance, did you do anything in your house to ensure the mosquitoes weren't breeding there? Well, no. All right, but have you seen commercials on TV that would tell you what to do in terms of taking away the mosquitoes from your home or reducing the amount of mosquitoes in your home? What were some of the things you saw? That mean um, the fuse mesh and cover up and and take up the little thin stuff then from from there. You are absolutely correct. Thank you so much. And where did you see that commercial on TV or did you listen to it on the radio? It come on the phone and it we see it on TV, Jay. So you know to buy a spray to repel them. Try to clean out the, the try to clean all the surface where the mosquito can go on. And she also said that sometime in your container you see some worm and you say um, those are worm but she said that those are the mosquito larvae. Those need to be clean as well. So any dish that you have you need to clean them. Try to get a net to prevent the mosquito. Try to wear clothes that long sleeve to prevent yourself from getting bite. And she also said to wear light colors. Yes. If you have any containers in your yard or anywhere, you could throw oil in it or any rusty, t any old tires around the house or anything. Bore holes in them or containers. All right. So when you get, where did you get get that information from in terms of what to do to prevent yourself from becoming dengue infected? From my guidance counselor. Okay. So you're not supposed to leave um, containers with water uncovered, and you should take. You should not take aspirin, metal pans, anything outside. It cannot throw dirt in it. 
and to reduce the, breed, the breeding of those mosquitoes. And do not leave unmaintained swimming pools open. Close the door and all windows and let the destroyer sleep under bed, bed nets. As far as I know is to keep all water like clear. Alright, so tell me now, what is the name of the mosquito that causes dengue? The Aedes aegypti. Thank you so much. Sweeney up top. Yes. So we're here with these amazing students from Portmore and they're going to tell us one thing that can prevent dengue. Go ahead mama. Sleep on their bed nets. Uh, spray yourself at night. Punch holes in tins and drums that are not in use. Use paracetamol. Did you hear them? And let us all say together now, protect yourself from dengue. Ready? Protect yourself from dengue.